An 8x20 shipping container was delivered this morning to Atlantic City, but it won't be used to ship anything. Instead, it will be transformed into an off-the-grid command center. We will have a group of 20 kids involved in the different areas of the designing of the container. Those kids from the Boys and Girls Club of Atlantic City make up the Atlantic City Container Project, and it all stems from the Jingoli Live Classroom Program. We go into uh, the high school or the local Boys and Girls uh, Club where, where we're working, and we participate with the uh, young men and women and teach them the trades. The container project was successful up in Newark. Teens transformed one into a disaster relief home. This just basically gave me a hands-on experience of what I should be looking forward to, um, what, is, you know, what I should already know when I go into this sort of business. They will serve as mentors for the kids from the Boys and Girls Club of Atlantic City on this project. The impact of a mentor that that is uh, close to the age of our kids is very important because it let them know that it's possible. They're going to create an off-the-grid emergency command center to be used by utility companies during natural disasters or power failures in the city. I think we have a responsibility as a community to make sure that our kids are provided with opportunities where they can develop creative thinking, where they can learn about different careers. And for me, that's the important part. The team of teens will work on the container alongside the construction team working on the new Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Each kid deserves a chance of a great future. These opportunities provide them that chance. They hope that this experience will provide these Atlantic City teens with the knowledge and skills to help them become successful adults. I'm Kimberly Carr for SNJ Today.